The modern world of witchcraft a threatening storm is brewing on the religious horizon, the winds of occultism are blowing ever more strongly across the land. In the past two to three decades, America and much of Western Europe have seen a resurgence of paganism and witchcraft. Paganism is attempting a resurrection from the dead, a revival of the old gods and goddesses of pre-Christian polytheistic nature religions and mystery cults Celtic, Norse, Greek, Egyptian, Roman, and other traditions of the Western world. Additionally, Sumerian mythologies, extant tribal religions Native American religions and shamanism, new religions largely inspired by science fiction and fantasy and amalgamations of diverse occultic traditions join the list as well. Astaroth, Diana, Hecate, Cernanus, Osiris, Pan, and others are being invoked anew, feeding an intoxicating discovery of and journey into a universe inhabited with gods and goddesses. Glossary of key terms to the nation, the attempt to obtain information regarding the past, present, or future through occultic methods such as astrology, channeling, crystal balls, tarot cards, and so forth. Magic, the ability, real or imagined, to cause changes to result in conformity with one's will or desires by invoking or utilizing mysterious and or invisible forces, and thereby influencing, controlling, or manipulating reality for one's own purposes. Magic is synonymous with sorcery, and, as used here, is to be distinguished from mere sleight of hand. In some occultic circles, it is frequently spelled magic to distinguish it from sleight of hand. Coven, sometimes also referred to as groves or circles, a coven is the basic social unit of witches who regularly meet in groups, as opposed to solitary witches, numbering anywhere between 3 and 30, with 13 being the ideal. Metaphysics, in the philosophical, not occultic, sense, metaphysics pertains to questions of ultimate reality, in both the sensible and insensible realms. Such questions include, what actually exists? What is its nature or essence? What is its origin? Occult, from the Latin occultus, meaning secret, hidden, or esoteric knowledge and practices. It is comprised of three basic categories, divination, magic or sorcery, and spiritism. Though there are many theories today as to how or why it works, according to biblical theology it originates from, and constitutes interaction with, demonic spirits. Hence, it is expressly condemned. Sex magic, the use of sex, intercourse, actual or symbolic within a ritual or spell casting session to facilitate or augment the efficacy of a given magical rite. That is, sexual activities are used to accomplish the desired goal of the occultist. Although their practices and beliefs diverge significantly at points, many of these individuals and groups proudly identify themselves as pagans or neopagans. Among them can be found a diverse group of people who style themselves as witches or Wiccans, followers of the old religion of the great mother goddess and her male consort, the Horn God. The pagan next door many of today's witches want to remove their traditional cloaks of secrecy, dispel the confusion that surrounds their religion, and address the hostility and suspicion they perceive, as directed toward themselves and their craft. They desire that their views and practices be considered an alternative religion, a viable worldview. At the very least they seek the right to follow their chosen path without being hindered, harmed, or discriminated against. Indeed, with increasing vigor, witchcraft is coming out of the broom closet. Many witches are actively seeking public understanding and acceptance, cultivating an image as the pagan next door. After all, they claim to embrace a life-affirming, family religion. From media materials to books for children, such as The Witch Next Door and The Witch Family, which portrays witchcraft in a positive family setting the campaign is on the cover of one book on witchcraft has an attractive female witch dressed in a fashionable, well-tailored business suit, 
as if she were walking down Madison Avenue. Point this is far removed from the stereotypical image of witches as ugly old hags with warts on their noses, decked out in black capes and cone shaped hats, riding their favorite broomstick on a moonlit night. Point. Which is which? It is extremely difficult to define with precision the beliefs and practices of contemporary witches. This is because of the elasticity of the terms witch and witchcraft, as they have been applied to people and practices both today and throughout history. Hail Satan hail thyself blessed be. L.